Hey, what's up guys? So you want to learn how to play Royal Royale, right? And you want to also learn how to get to this setup. Well, let me tell you how to do that real quick. What you got to do is you got to rummage through your deck, grab all the Royals, which are these guys. There's 12 of them in total. And what you got to do is you got to set them next to each other, all beautifully like I have them displayed right here. And then you got to draw 14 cards from the draw pile and place three cards in front of each of them. Gotta think about how you do this at the start because things can happen pretty quickly in this game or slowly depending on what happens or what cards you have in your possession. And the things that you can do in a turn is you can move a card over, you can attack with a card, you can attack with the card in your hand or from the field at the same time as long as you go twice in your turn. As, as Only if a card says otherwise then you can go more than once and to see who goes first we roll dice like this and i rolled a six and she's rolled a three but you don't only have to roll dice you can play rock paper scissors you can flip a coin you can call out odds and evens it doesn't really matter as long as you do what you do to see who goes first or to or for other things that's gonna that you're gonna see later into this game. So let's jump right into it. I'm gonna play to the front line. This is the only card that you can use to attack with the Royal. And this card is gonna do, I'm gonna attack with King Azurai. No, I'm gonna attack with um, my Queen Elizabeth doing 20 damage, taking out these two eights right here. I'm not going to use the ability, so I don't have to discard her. Whoop. And you put in the discard pile is over here next to the draw, draw pile. You put your card over there, too. And the next thing I'm going to do is use the Explosive Tip Ballista. This destroys three cards, just destroys them like a boss, and does 10 damage to the fourth. And it's considered an AoE card, so if there was a shield there, I wouldn't be able to do anything to their cards. So I'm going to take this right here, and I'm going to destroy her royal. And when this royal is attacked, she drains units and gains three, but since nothing in that I attacked her with had any sword and number attached to it, then it does not apply. So I put this over there with the rest of the royals. And since I went twice... It is my opponent's turn. I'm going to use Roots of Destruction. And she's going to attack me with Roots of Destruction. What this card does, it, uh, it travels through the lanes, which is these three lanes right here. And it does 10 damage to each of my cards. Since it's an AoE, since it's an AoE card, it does, not do, um, it does not do um bleed damage. What bleed damage is, is the remainder number of the of what you attacked with, as you saw earlier when I attacked with the front line card. I attacked those two eights. Since that was 16, I attacked with 20. So it destroyed both of those. So she would destroy my two, my six, and my three, and, a, and one card under. And my opponent chose the Puka, so the Puka goes. Pharaoh Onslaught. And now she's going to use a card called Pharaoh Onslaught, which an uh, army of vampires does 12 damage to all three to three cards. And if she had an and if I had any vampire cards on my side, she would be able to take those cards and put it on her side of the field or in her hand if she so pleases to. And which cards are you going to attack? And she's gonna do, she's gonna attack my Merlin, my five, and my three, leaving my King Azurai open. Now the next thing that I'm gonna do, since my side is looking a little, a little bleak here, I'm gonna place the shield here, and this shield gives me an extra turn. Abilities usually activate when you place a card down, so I gotta use that, use that now. So that means I get an extra turn. And now I have two more turns that I can use since I have an extra turn. It's like I did nothing, right? 
So the next thing that I'm gonna do is place a card in front of my duchess and then I'm gonna place a, my impenetrable shield squad here. What this card does, attacks eight and under cannot defeat this card as an abilities have no effect. So cards with abilities will do nothing to that card. And now it is my opponent's turn. I'm going to use Entice and take your shield. What Entice does, this switches two units on the field and also gives you an extra turn. And then I'm going to use Rewind Shock Hammer. She's going to use Rewind Shock Hammer on my six. And it does 10 damage. And I'm going to use Mending Roots. And then she's going to use Mending Roots. She can draw two cards and pick one from the discard pile. I have changed that card a little bit when it comes out. You're going to have to challenge your foe to get, grab a card from the from the discard pile. But since we are playing as what the cards are saying right now, we are not doing that. <laughs> This is what this game does to me. <laughs> should I play it or should I save it? Now, this is where decision making comes in this game. This is a really good card that's good at taking out Royals, but I could also use it here to take out that stack. But things could go wrong later if I don't hold on to this card. So what I probably might do is draw a card. When you look at that, So since that might help out a little bit more, I'm gonna take this chance and draw one more card and wait for my next turn to do my deeds. I'm gonna use Dragonfire. Dragonfire is a pretty good AOE card. It takes out each card on top of the field, but it can't take out the it can't take out my shield because it is an AOE card. So it's just gonna take out these two cards right here. I'm gonna hit your shield with the threes and I'm gonna end my turn. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attack her shield with my with my ten right there. And in that shield, use Archer Rain and Elven Commander. I'm gonna take out this ten with I'm gonna take out this seven with one of the tens from my archer commander. Now I'm gonna use Elven Commander to sneak under this dwarf guy and I'm gonna do 35 damage to Silence up there. Queen. Well, since you're silencing, which one are you gonna silence? The attack on the queen. I know, but which card are you gonna silence? I guess since he's silencing my um Elven Commander, what I can do is just attack her dwarf hammer which gives me five it gives me five more to deal to qu her queen but I can still attack her with 25 do you have any but can your ability stop it do you have a card higher than 15 since she doesn't have any cards that can activate her, her ability what she what this card does is it basically if she has a card stronger in her hand it would move me to another lane and destroy all of the remaining numbers since i don't have any more cards in my hands i can draw five one two three four five and now it's my opponent's turn I'm going to use Gatlin Cannon Suit and my eight to attack your Duchess. Alrighty, so now since she's attacking my Duchess, I can activate my ability and what my well, what my Duchess's ability does. When she's defeated, I can choose one of the opponent's cards and defeat it. 
and it can be in the hand too. I just won't be able to look. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna attack her mercenary and defeat that mercenary right there. I'm gonna place extension shield down, which, and what extension shield does, it places a shield to the, to the right and one to the left. And you gotta hit it twice to deactivate it or to destroy it. And now I'm gonna attack her seven with my seven. And this is what I was talking about earlier about challenging your opponent. If the if the card remains to the same number, you can challenge your opponent to see if you can defeat it or if your card gets defeated. I rolled a six. And she rolled a five. So that means I can go ahead and defeat her seven. And both cards go into the discard pile. Or my opponent's turn. I'm going to put this down and it's gonna be an extension shield. And I'm gonna draw one. 